You can also say vertices, which means shit. By all, he replied happily. What's it though that can eat your inquired Milo? who was barely able to pronounce the strange, strange word. See for yourself, he said, turning around. A dodecahedron is a mathematical shape with 12 faces, three people at 30 miles. <laughs> That's it. Egg. Ted and Ted went, 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 good girl, on a swing. Good job, <laughs> good job. Go girl. Ted, I lost my page. Ted, a Ted had a half egg. Ted had a odd odd rod. Good job. Whatever is true. Whatever is no Whatever is true. Whatever is true. I can't see you. No, it's lovely. I did it. Oh, I'm a sail. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Vlogsgiving. I know. I know. It's day two of Vlogsgiving. I am halfway through our school day. It is going really well today. Um, but. I guess that depends on how you define going really well because if it is going according to my schedule then maybe not so much but if I put my schedule aside we are having a really really good homeschool day and so I thought I would sit down and talk a little bit about schedule I've had people ask me about help in the area of homeschool schedule um, and a little direction in that area and I normally don't really have much to say to those only because schedule routine whatever you want to call it is such a fluid thing it changes all the time and I'm gonna be really honest I really wish I had like a strict schedule that I just stuck to and you know all would be well in the world <laughs> I feel like I would be able to measure my success a little bit better if I could stick to a schedule however it's just not our thing <laughs> it's just not it's just not our thing and um, I think the best thing that has happened to me is deciding not to be defined by my schedule and how well I feel like the schedule and routine is going I am just accepting that I'm a very fluid family and I'm just gonna keep it moving now with that being said my schedule slash routine has changed as the kids get older as they're able to do different things it changes it changes quite often i think i have finally come to a good place where i've kind of laid it out have it in front of me and i'm able to like check things off in my mind and borrow from my own time that type of approach just works so much better for me. I am just sitting down reading a little bit of this for the children's sake. Uh, and I have a lot of highlighted spaces that I figured I would just go through and just encourage myself and, you know, just decide to focus on the positive things. And I say over and over to myself, I am the best teacher for them. Moms make the best teachers. I am their mom and I'm the best teacher for them. And I need a lot of that more lately because I've had more doubt creeping in with, um, I don't wanna say busyness because I don't, I don't consider myself busy. I'm just um, trying to focus my energies in on a few other things uh, and I can feel a lot of guilt 
for doing that um, and not being 100% zoned in on homeschool. However, I do believe that what I am doing is actually a part of homeschool. I think that it's all of those. I heard a message the other day about silent lessons and I feel like that's what is happening. The things that you take on behind the scene that aren't considered homeschool, like laundry and maintaining your home and um, loving your husband well, um, or being a good friend, or um, starting new business ventures, things like that are, are kind of silent lessons for the kids. Um, they're things that they learn from you as a mom, as a parent, uh, that is not set out as a curriculum, but I feel like needs to be approached with intention. You know, so I'm trying to remind myself that it's not taking away from homeschool for me to um, do things with the Falco or do things with photography or video. I just have to look to the Lord to help me manage them well. Does that make sense? Um, and I guess I'm just talking myself through this. It's just me. It's just that constant loop that goes in the background that says that you're not doing enough for your kids. And so you shouldn't be doing X, Y, and Z because it's taking away from them and it's taking away from school. It's all that stuff that comes into your head that um, is a lot of the times without a rhyme or reason. It's just messy thoughts and messy thoughts need to be cast down. So uh, that was off tangent. Anyway, back to the whole schedule deal. <laughs> <laughs> I basically have two schedules that I started out with uh, at the beginning of the year, so to speak. I have my weekly school plan, and then this year we are doing a homeschool block scheduling. Um, if you had seen a few videos back, I talked about how I was laying out our schedule and I had all this stuff that I was trying to do every day. And I was really going after that, you guys. I really was. <laughs> and I was doing well. I was doing well with it, but it just wasn't serving us well, so I decided to bring it back a little bit and break it up. And I had mentioned in that last video that I was considering um, just adapting it and making it a block schedule. Splitting it in half and just doing one um, on one day, and one, one half on one day, and then the other half on the other day. And that is what we're doing. However, I want to say this very lightly because hopefully over the next uh, several days of these videos, you can actually see how it's working out into our days. Um, because I feel like whenever I, I create a schedule, it's just like a guide for me in my mind. It's not actually what we stick to and adhere to we're just not that family um i if you are that family or if you know a family like that then just know that i want to be them <laughs> but i'm not and i have to choose to be myself you know so anyway i have a weekly school plan and this is what this looks like okay, I'm finishing. okay well i'll be right there let me finish what do you want me to finish what's wrong Okay, I'll come and get it. You might need, just need to floss, okay? So that was how I laid out the week, basically. So that was how I laid out our week. Now, as far as our schedule, this is our block schedule. It's pretty simple. It's basically, I just took my last schedule, cut it in half, and then I put one on one day and one on the other day. On block one, we have Bible, language arts, writing, spelling, math, and reading. Then on block two, we have history, science, geography, art, elective, and reading. And what I was doing in the beginning was trying to follow them one after the other. So after Bible, then language arts, then writing, then spelling. Recently, I made another small change and decided that it would just be a checklist. So those are just the things that I wanted to get accomplished on doing that block day but I don't need to go in any particular order. And since making that change, that has really been working out well for us. Um, actually, if you've been following me for an amount of time, then you'll know that we're basically making a slow transition into unschooling, okay? It's like the slowest transition ever into unschooling. Really, it is. <laughs> But um, it's just working better for me. For a while, we were doing well with doing one thing after the other. And then Savannah got a little older and she got a little bit more whiny and things just became really interesting. So I'm trying to flow with it. 
and let my schedule work for me instead of working against me and that is how we are doing our homeschool schedule right now we're all done now so thank you so much for following along today and i will see you tomorrow bye super hot there's also a ton of pressure there with the weight of all of that rock above pressing down a lot of work the diamonds that we see on jewelry and such are the ones that have been brought closer to earth's surface so we were talking about diamonds and basically we they have mentioned quite often that the diamonds come up from the inner cores of the earth how Volcano. Yes, volcano. that's right. But even in its raw form, you can still see that it's clearer and much harder than the original graphite. Humans can make materials using basic natural elements like graphite when they really need to.